Asperger's and learning class difficulties. I had some things I wanted to share about this. When I was younger, I was basically forced to go to a private school I really didn't like for a long time. And I just switched schools a couple times. Mom pressured me to go there. Something that I would learn about my parents and Asperger's and neurotypicals was that school is hard. School is hard in a lot of ways. And I'm not talking about the social things here. I'm talking about the learning and the studies. And I feel it was very confusing to my parents, to teachers, to classmates, that even though I clearly was a smart kid and was articulate and could express myself well and read and write well, why is it that I had so much problems with certain classes? Just because someone might appear smart and appear to be able to read and write well does not mean that they're going to be able to do well in every single class. I can tell you for sure with like a history class and a physical chemistry class I had an intense amount of trouble. I had an intense amount of trouble with names, facts, year numbers. Um, basically if classes weren't interesting to me it was very very hard for me to learn it. I could read so much on something and not know anything I read, especially foreign languages like Spanish class, so hard for me to learn. And I had a teacher once tell me that, you know, he needed me to study more for my Spanish. Like if I had just studied for a couple hours, I would have been okay for a test. And I, I told him, I studied for four hours yesterday. And it was the truth I had, but I, I still managed to just get like a mediocre grade on this test. But anyway, I think that Asperger's people have reading comprehension problems to a degree. I've read a lot about Asperger's people that will go to a community college and there's nothing wrong with that and it really bugs me that I, I keep seeing references in movies, shows, people I know that say, oh this person went to a community college as if that's not prestigious. For some of us that really is the best that we can do and there's nothing wrong with that. And if we have learning problems where that really is the best we could do, what's wrong with saving money and, and maybe staying close to home a little while longer? If that, if that's the path that we need to take, then at least we're going to school at all. It's with growing up school as an option. It's a different thing. Even if it takes us longer, even if it's a not a prestigious school, it's, I just feel like it's good that we're doing it, especially when you have learning difficulties and it's a challenge for you. I just think that you're good to get as far as you go instead of giving up. But Anyway, I've had some learning difficulties and I know that for me it would have been better just to have gone to the same public school all throughout growing up because I would have been able to stay in regular classes, I would have been able to get A's and actually feel good about my work, I would have been able to meet other very unique people like myself I, and not, not feel like such an outcast in such a small school. I begged my mom so many times that I leave that school. I was clearly having learning problems. They would study with me for hours and hours for this one history class, which was great of them to do that, but it wasn't necessary. All I needed to do was go to another school. There was once where I, you know, a form you're supposed to fill out saying you're a Christian and stuff at this school. It's no longer an existing school. Pacific Christian High School in Highland Park, Los Angeles. It closed down for money problems, but it used to be a school. They had a form you'd fill out saying you're a Christian and all this stuff. And the one year I'd looked at my dad and I said, Dad, I don't want to go here. And he says, what, you want to go to Eagle Rock High School? And I say, yeah. Just sign the damn paper! And I got freaked out and I signed it real quick because all that was left was a signature. And I told myself the next year I would rip the paper in half, but I ended up getting sort of kicked out slash leaving with my horror story anyway. But anyway, that's some thoughts about, I do feel like a public school would have been better, and the learning would have been better, the friends and the meeting people would have been better, meeting other unique people. It really kind of put me in my, my bubble box of just being too sheltered to being in a private school, and it made learning more difficult. For a lot of reasons, I think that people should be going to a public school if they have Asperger's. It, and I also think that it's, there's probably more learning accommodations at a public school from what I've heard. There's a bigger likelihood you can go into a separate room to test and things like that where while private schools they might have more tutoring time and stuff in some ways but as far as having separate rooms for testing and, and accommodations for people with autism I really would doubt that private schools would have that. Public schools would more be able to recognize 
learning deficiencies, I would think. Uh, from what I've seen at private schools, it would just seem that you know, you're just supposed to learn what you're supposed to learn. But I had my history teacher at school. <laughs> I can never pass one for tests. And one year, one, I asked her if she would put my test face down because I knew I didn't do good, even though I would study a lot. And she said, you should put your face down for what you got on this test. And <laughs> I had a college lady say once to me, um, she could tell that I would smile at something I was thinking during a class. And she looks at me, and she was such a pain, and said, You're, I see you smiling over there. Is this is something you want to share with us? And I say, no. No. No, there's nothing I want to share with you right now. No. And she just kind of paused, stunned, and then continued her lecture. Because I knew she was picking on me. And for people with Asperger's or ADHD or reading comprehension problems, believe me, they want to be able to pay attention for a whole lecture. I would work very hard to be able to pay attention for a whole lecture, but it didn't mean that I could. I wanted to. Spoken monologues are the worst form of learning ever. And I found that in classes, sometimes there would be the rare class where everyone would make a speech or something. And those classes would be the class where I would learn everything because it was different people talking, different for different voices, different ways people would look, different ways people would describe things. And those classes I would learn the most, but lectures, oh my gosh, do I have a hard time with that? And reading comprehension and testing. I would always be the last person from taking a test. I would always double check all of my answers. And it was slow for me. And I realize now I really needed to just be, I needed to be testing in a silent room. I would have been able to concentrate so much better. You know, it didn't make me stupid. It just meant that some things took longer for me, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I think that it's just too bad when, when even grown-ups can't be a good example for being better about that. But from what I hear, a lot of teachers are in it for the wrong reasons, like summers off and stuff. If I was a teacher, I would definitely have a lot more patience with people that were clearly trying. But for some people, they just think everybody learns the same way, and if you work hard, you'll get it. It's not necessarily true. Believe me, there were plenty of times I worked very hard and still fail to test and there's nothing wrong with that just do your best and there are ways that you can do things I go to Phoenix University now because so far we've never done tests so there's not really a way that I can fail with tests and is a lot of people don't consider it a prestigious school but you know I don't I don't really care because it's something that works for me I tried every other way and there really isn't another way for me to get my bachelor's and I've accepted that it's okay I wanted to go to a more prestigious school but it's okay, at least I'm in school and I'm happy about that. I really enjoy psychology and that's just the way that I'm doing it, it's Phoenix University. But anyway, I wanted to share some thoughts about that. Anybody else had a mean teacher experience based on misunderstandings? Anybody else with Asperger's? I would like to hear it. Thank you, bye.